UN team visits Maiduguri, seeks urgent support for flood victims. Kindly share this video, subscribe like and comment below. Officials from the United Nations and humanitarian organizations have visited Maiduguri over the devastating floods ravaging the area. The team, comprising of international and national non-government organizations, NGOs, was led by UN resident and humanitarian coordinator in Nigeria, Mohamed Fall. They arrived in the Borno state capital on Saturday on an assessment visit over the Alao Dam flood disaster. This was disclosed in a press release to journalists on Sunday by the National Information Officer of the UN Information Center, Olusei Sormikin. Sormikin said the team met with affected residents, government officials, and Borno State Governor, Professor Barbagana Zulam, to assess the damage and outline immediate support measures. The flood-affected people are facing a crisis within a crisis, as the floods occurred during a severe food insecurity and malnutrition crisis. I witnessed firsthand the devastation and hardship caused by the flooding, including the destruction of homes, businesses, and infrastructure. I also saw the suffering of the affected communities, Fall stated. The delegation promised swift action to alleviate the suffering of displaced families, including the provision of food, clean water, sanitation facilities, and shelter. It stated that many people affected by the floods, reported to be the worst in 30 years, already had humanitarian needs prior to the disaster, having been displaced multiple times by conflict and insecurity and are now even more vulnerable. 1 million displaced. Flood waters have displaced more than 1 million people in and around Maiduguri, which serves as the hub for the responses to the humanitarian crisis in the northeast, in one of the worst ever floods in Africa's most populous country. Thousands of homes were engulfed by rapidly rising waters after a dam burst following a weekend of torrential rain in northeastern Nigeria. Barkindo Mohamed, the Director General of Borno State Emergency Management Agency, SEMA, told AFB that the number of people displaced by the flooding could reach 1 million people. Mohamed Sheriff, 60, was not so lucky. He too awoke in the middle of the night to rising waters in his home. Together with his two wives, they carried six of their children, thinking that the two eldest, aged 11 and 13, would be strong enough to fight the current. The two children are still missing. We haven't seen them since and we fear the worst, Sheriff told AFP. The National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, said on Wednesday that at least 30 people have died in the floods, the worst in 30 years, according to the United Nations Refugee Agency in Nigeria. Hunger and Disease NEMA's Director General Zubaida Umar said on X on Thursday she was relieved that the flood level in Maiduguri is receding and normalcy is beginning to return to the metropolis, adding that rescue operations were ongoing in the city flooded up to 40%. Children and families are still trapped in their homes, British charity Save the Children said in a statement on Friday. The immense damage to water and sanitation services is driving up the risk of cholera, and other water and vector-borne diseases, the NGO said, pointing out that the city's two main hospitals had also been flooded. The World Food Programme, WFP, said the disaster would increase the risk of food insecurity, particularly in the vulnerable northeast. At least 259 people have been killed by flooding in Nigeria since the beginning of the rainy season, according to Umar. Share this video, like and subscribe for more of our videos coming up. Hey, uh, thank you, gentlemen. Let's go to our next story. The devastation caused by the flood in Meiduguri, Borno State, left us with the sad reality of counting the losses in the wake of the disaster. At least 414,000 people have been displaced and about a million others affected by the devastating flood in Meiduguri, the state capital. The spokesman of the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, Manzo Ezekiel, said the death toll has hit 30 in the town's worst flooding in 30 years. 
The state governor, Professor Babagana Zulum, visited the victims and assured them of proper care until the water receded and people returned to their houses. Now let's share this story by TVC News' Jesse Tafida with you. The Brno State Governor makes his way through the flood waters to see for himself what is left after flood washed away the ancient town. From the CP junction, we went through the popular post office area, Blabulin and Shahuri, Budim and Custom areas. The devastation was huge and the cost of what is lost is yet to be ascertained. The governor promised more intervention to victims and displaced persons. It might be associated with climate change. That is the most important thing. So what we need to do is to now reinforce the dam, reconstruct the dam, expand the capacity of the dam, and most importantly, defilt the drains. Because most of the waterways were occupied by human beings. If you can remember a few years ago when I was sworn in as the governor of Bono State, now I followed all this route and I asked people to bucket on the waterways. But unfortunately, people don't fit to our own advice. People build homes right inside waterways, thereby reducing the, chance, the, the width of the canals. These are some of the factors that are responsible for the overflowing. But most importantly, we are witness rainfall, storm that has not been, you know, seen in the recent years, up to 50, 60 years ago. So the soil has become has become completely saturated. So what we decided to do is to give 10, 10,000 naira to each of the head of household. Thousands of residents are still stranded, unable to return to their homes. The government have also sent out a search and rescue team to bring people to safety. In this temporary shelter for the displaced, the government has given out cash and other relief items. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Beiduguri. Ah, those pictures really really touching but governor zulum the baronu state governor and other government officials they've visited the affected areas now bk how will this assuage the devastation caused by the flood i'm, I'm happy that um, in um, the moment of adversity nigerians have shown tremendous love towards our people mm. in Borno state and um, you saw some of the latest stories that uh, Jesse filed mm. showed even the governor of um, of uh, Lagos State and other governors, you know, physically present. You know, and we saw them even on the water, mm. you know, navigating through the um, water, trying to reach the people and show show them love, show them support. Sure. It's um, unfortunate that this has happened, but there's really nothing anyone can do about it. I think it was Neymar that con um, confirmed that about 30 corpses, you know, mm -hmm. uh, have been recovered. Because in, in the aftermath of this uh, uh, deluge, the cemetery was overrun and um, corpses began floating in water. water. You know, so they have to do their best to um, provide care, limit the extent of the damage, because at this time people can't even get good drinking water. They have to relocate people to the high, uh, mm, okay. high land, uh, okay, to a higher ground, mm. so that they can begin to pick up the pieces of their lives. People have to show kindness to other people who have lost their homes, lost their belongings. I'm happy 
that the governor has been um, on his feet. I'm happy that Governor Son Wolu and others, um, uh, the Senator Betara, you know, they've gone there um, to commiserate with this uh, with the people. Because how do you look at Governor Son Wolu there? You know, well, I'm even impressed. How do you? The Lagos had to go there. Yes, to, going all the way. That, because that shows, a brother. That, exactly. You know, Zulu is um, an immensely popular mm. governor um, in our country because of his record of performance and uh, they cannot leave him that's the governor of um, adama state yes uh umaru Fintiri, the historian is there too mm. so you cannot leave the people to their fate at this time you have to show support the best way that you can and look as i said this is an international adversity nigeria needs to uh, get help from wherever they can find it uh, before the water recedes and the people um, can return to their homes. Even some of those homes will by now be compromised. Mm. Because some of them were literally enveloped by water. Exactly. So it means that it's even dangerous for mm. people to live in some of those houses. The integrity. Because the, yeah. Yes, the, those, the houses could give mm. way anytime. Sure. So I'm really, I think there's a lot to be done. And the veterinary doctors also said more than 70 to 80 percent of the animals in the Maiduguri Zoo have escaped. Wow. You know, some died. I saw a, a video of uh, an ostrich that had just managed to escape the uh, water. I saw another video in which what appeared to be a lion was prowling the streets wow. and people were running. Huh. You know, so it's a dangerous uh, situation. Crocodiles now, you know, that alone. and some, some animals that uh, were trapped in their uh, cages, some of them are dead. So this is a real, it, it just reminds me of the tsunami when it happened mm. um, uh, many years back, you know. I, I, I pray that our response will be a lot better and we can prepare for this kind of problem, um, uh, calamity mm. in future, so that and limit the extent to which our people suffer from it. Mm. Majid, during raining season, we hear things like this. Okay, it happened last year, it happened this year, it might even happen again. Okay, and we hear us the same excuse dam. Oh, if it's not Lagdo dam, it's this one. Now, let's talk about this. Is it about climate change or is it sheer negligence? on the part of the authorities? No, I, I, I won't say it's uh, negligence. Uh, it's, this, this is a natural disaster. It's like a typhoon. You come, although NIMET actually warned that three states will be hit severely, mm. and it mentioned um, uh, Bono. But this one was aggravated uh, by the collapse of the Alua Dam, um, so to say, and also coupled with climate change. So it's... Uh, a very, very sad occurrence. They say it's the worst uh, uh, flood disaster in 30 years in Bono. And uh, you could see uh, the casualties, about 30 dead and 414,000 uh, displaced. So um, the federal government, uh, uh, through the office of the vice president, I had um, the, the VP was there uh, yesterday with uh, 50 trucks of um, mm. uh, uh, rice, and we've seen uh, some Olu and I know, and the Fintry, they won't go there empty and dead. Sure. So help is coming, and from Nema and from other places, but mm. then it, um, it just goes to show that, yes, we are our brother's keepers. When sure. things like this happen, no matter how hard you prepare, there is no way you can prepare for this magnitude of this of, uh, a flood. It's like it enveloped the old state. So it's more of climate change uh, which um, is okay, it's almost climate change yeah not about negligence no no not that there's, there's no <laughs> the, the, the the magnitude of, of this flood is way beyond uh it's like when the uh when the uh when they open it and, and not down and, 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 and Ogun river mm -hmm. when when it opens i mean it's uh, flanks i mean we feel it as uh, as near as um uh, uh, Sherry, yes. yeah, in, Le in Lagos yes. and Adelaide. So, 
when things like that happen, you see the uh, water level coming up, and if you are passing through uh, the long bridge, it will seem as if you want to, you are, you are touching the water uh, mm -hmm. on the bridge. So these are natural things okay. that happen, and there is little or nothing anybody. It's like the typhoons and hurricanes that happen mm -hmm. uh, elsewhere. So okay. the tsunami or, or the tsunami, there is little. You can only prepare. With the, there is little more any can, any government can do to stop it. To stop. But just. The, the medial action, which of course is uh, taking place, mm. uh, and uh, people should be uh, careful about uh, the epidemics mm. that might come after, especially the uh, uh, corpses uh, that are you know, thrown out of exactly. mortuaries and those animals. Oh, okay. Stuff like All right that. then. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks for tuning in to Smart Okason TV show. Keep exploring. Stay curious and never stop getting the latest information happening around. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share to keep the intellect flowing. Until next time, keep sharpening and be smart.